Yo, what up? It's me. Listen, man. I'm going to talk to y'all real brief. This message right here, this brief message that I'm about to give you right now, is to the sisters. And I want y'all to listen very, very closely because it's important what I'm about to share with you and the reason I'm going to share it with you because I see this happen too much and too many times to sisters. Let me explain something to you real quick. In our community, you know that religion is, is a big part of our community. You understand what I'm saying? And there's different forms of worship that we deal with in our community, whatever you want to call it. I mean, we have the Moorish Science Temple of America, we have the Nation of Islam, we have the Hebrew Israelites, we have all of these different organizations. Now, the thing is this for the sisters. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. It is imperative. Walaikum salam, brother um, Muhammad Hakim. It is imperative. It is imperative as a sister, if you are dating any man or has a husband who is a part of any of this type of stuff, it is important that you know the doctrine for yourself, that you study and research the doctrine for yourself. Do not let your mate interpret the doctrine to you because you know what? Nine times out of ten, it may benefit him the way he interprets it. And I see it too much in Islam, especially. A lot of women, you know what I'm saying, broken homes and so on and so forth because they don't know the rules. And the man utilizes it to his, to his benefit. Divorce taking wives and divorcing and taking wives and so on and so forth. So it's very imperative that you know this information. It's very imperative that you allow yourself time to study, to learn this information so that you may be able to know what's what. And in the process of knowing what's what, your mate knows that he just can't give you anything in the doctrine and tell you this is what it means because you haven't studied and he's interpreting it to you. See, an interpretation is an interpretation and I can make an interpretation fit my condition or my reality. You understand? Especially if you trust me, my mate, whoever, your husband, wife, whatever, sisters, listen closely. It's important that you study the doctrine. Whatever faith you dealing with, whatever you believe in, it is important that you yourself also studies the doctrine. Do not allow, again, your mate or your husband to, to, to interpret it for you. See, it's best exercise when both people are studying the same thing. And even if they're not studying the same thing, at least they're studying. They can find similarities and common ground to bring those things together with. You see what I mean? But a lot of times, women just take the lead of the husband. And that's okay under circumstances. But under these circumstances, when a woman is talking about Torah or talking about Quran and has to ask you and she's married to a Muslim and she's a Muslim or married to a Hebrew -like, Hebrew Israelite and she's a Hebrew Israelite herself and she's, and she's asking you, what does the Torah say? Or what does the Quran say? See, that's a problem for me. Because if you claim in a particular way of life, then you should be studying and researching. I don't care about tradition. My mother was a Muslim, so I'm one and blah, blah, blah. I don't care about tradition. That's the problem with our people. My parents was this, so I'm that. My great-grandfather was a Mason. My great-grandfather was a Mason. My grandfather was a Mason, so I'm a Mason. Just because something is tradition don't make it correct or right and exact. Period. So it is up to you to study, sisters. To study. To ask questions. Ask your mate questions. And if your mate has to begin to emotionally brutalize you or use words that will cause harm to your emotional state, then you already know that you got to fall back and get out of that situation because it's not going to be healthy. There will be no edification in that situation, man. So sisters, please do not let yourself be abused. Brothers, stop abusing sisters. Stop using the information and the doctrine for your own benefit. Because, see, it will come back and harm you later. It will harm you later. Your intention is wicked. So it must return from where it came. You understand what I'm saying? This is why I always say I can see somebody's intention a mile away. A mile away. So, sisters, study the doctrine. Whatever doctrine it may be, master it, understand it, know it. Don't be duped by it. And I know there's going to be brothers out here say, oh, are you breaking the cold, pride, whatever, man. Listen, man, I deal with justice. 
I deal with truth. I don't frat, I don't fraternize. I don't deal with fraternal orders and I don't deal with, you know, that, that thing that you call in on, oh, we got guy codes and all that. I don't deal with that. I don't deal with nothing like that. I deal with equine, brotherhood, sisterhood. That's what I deal with. I deal with truth, period. You understand what I'm saying? My intent is pure. I don't care about the way you innovate what you doing. I'm letting sisters know that they need to be on a square at all times and to challenge any information and to cross-reference anything you learn. And if your mate or your boyfriend is telling you something, make sure you have him show it to you. And then you cross reference it yourself. Don't be, don't fall for the okie doke, man. Don't fall for the okie doke. Don't be one of them sisters, you know what I'm saying, who, who just caught up. The banana in the tailpipe. Indeed. Don't don't fall for it. Alright? So on that note, I just want to share something with you a little bit. Me and Sister Monica about we got training going on right now. We about to go train. Hit it up. So you know, talk to y'all later. I, just had to, I had to just share this, man, because something came up and I had to make this, I had to just share it with y'all, you know what I mean? Because I see it too much inside of Islam. Women getting abused because they don't know the, they don't know the doctrine. You know? Indeed, it could be laziness. Hide it in the book. That's what they say, bro. You know what? It's crazy because Brother Ben Hill, but hey, Islam, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a vibe on that. When I was selling dope back in the 90s, you know what I'm saying, early 90s, I had, um, was living in an apartment with some other roommates. I had a bookshelf full of books. When I moved out, I brought all of them in the room. I said, this is why y'all could never get to my stuff, man, my money or whatever. And I started opening up books and, you know, opening them up and just pouring money out. They was sitting there mouth wide open. I'm like, yeah, but niggas don't read books. So I knew my shit was safe. Part of my language. So yeah, Ben Hill Bay, you're 100% correct. That's what they say. So we have to stop being. Peace to my big bro. Ish Ishmael Bay, what's going on, fam? That's my family right there, man. Get a brother shout out. You know what I'm saying? The founder of the Amra squad. You know what I mean? That's a good brother right there. He goes hard, man, for his people. He loves his people. You understand what I'm saying? And he disposes falsehood also. Ignorance also. That's what we do. We slap, we slap, we slap the head off. Bow. So yeah, long story short. Laziness is learned. Indeed, it's learned. Everything is learned behavior with us. Remember, every teaching, every moment as a parent, that's a teaching mechanism to your youth. You see what I'm saying? So you must be proactive and constantly being busy amongst them, producing things. You see what I mean? Brother Redell Davis, I'm proud of you, young man. Keep up that good work that you're doing with that business you have, man. You can show others how to be entrepreneurs and show them the purpose of why it's important of owning your own, family. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. So on that note, I'm going to say peace to y'all, man. And sisters, again, remember what, I remember what I said to you. Remember what I said to you. Peace and love.